All right, and we're back. Let's continue on into town. See if we can get some armor and everything set up. I won't be clicking on the quest because, um, well, quite frankly, this is just catching up with um with parts that I had, I had messed up, took too long, and um basically had to. Uh, if I wanted to show progress in this area, I would have to start the thing back over, and I didn't want to do all that, so I just, um, well, edit. Marion, so nice to see fresh blood still joining the regular army. I tell you, when magic and technology fail us, the regulars will always be there to save the empire. Staying out of trouble? Yep, yes, sir. Alright, let's see if we can find a merchant. Ah, oh, there we go. That's one. Alright, so let's see. We got some medical errors. Now, the one thing about this game is that it is pretty doggone generous um, with items. Especially at first. I mean, this is, they're all over the place. So, I, I'm not too sure exactly what advice I would give you. Because, um... You'll find some of just about everything in um, in the following dungeon that you're going to get into. So in a lot of ways, um, at least at first anyway, it doesn't seem to be too necessary to stock up on things. Now, there are some, like potions here, that seem to be a lot rarer. Things that you have to... Um, that you can do in battle at the same time you know well things that you can take into battle with you and use in battle um seem to be rarer than things that you can um you can take outside of battle um medical herbs seem to be pretty plentiful and you can you can use those um to replenish about 20 percent of your um, of your character's hp and so is Miracle Herb. But things like potions for some reason are a lot rarer. Um, tents even you can find out there. So if I was buying something. Um, if I and had more money than 315. I'd probably get like potions and stuff. But in this case here. I'm going to skip that and see if I can find an armor. Hmm. I didn't look at an armor the last time. Alright, so this guy here is on um, wh where you would come to after after you've gained some experience and some more money. Right, and this guy here has a lot of the same stuff that you already have. See? So in this case here... It might be good for you to just go ahead and then buy some items. Now you got the accessories right here which may come in handy. Now you only got 300. Let's see here.
but like I said, you'll get plenty of stuff in the dungeons. Uh, all these are accessories, so they're optional. Let's see here. <laughs> Might not be too stylish, but given the prices, I'd probably go with the traveler's hats. Or the scale grip, at least for one of them. A uh, steel gauntlet would be nice, but given that it's 230 gold, it's pretty costly at this point. So, my the options that I see is that you could take a chance in going into the dungeon as is. Um, it is your first dungeon after all. They're not going to kill you. Uh, <laughs> um, or you can go ahead and then get something like the Traveler's Gloves or the Scale Grip. To just give you a little bit of an edge. But in my case, I'm not going to do that. Alright, I'll probably just go ahead and then get a few extra... Um, few extra items over this way. Move out of the way, soldier. And then carry on. So, let's see. I only got two medical herbs. I usually like to start off with about at least five of, of a thing, so... This cures all debuffs, which might come in handy later on when you start getting into um, some enemies with some status effects on them. Uh, oh boy, that'll take up a hundred. I might dial that down a little bit. Alright, um, let's see. I'm going to take one tent. You will run into others, but just in case all right now I'll save save some money for later all right and with that we're gonna go ahead and then head on over to Hibernus Cove I'm gonna go ahead and then stop the um, video here and then um and then I'll continue it once I get and once I get the Hibernus Cove there. Alright, this has been Games Master 35. Signing off.